Where are we, James? Are we going to go play crazy golf? It's a bit confused. Yeah, so we're still in Portugal, um, but there's a little bit more from Reeseve College and also from Treasure Farm Machinery's Open Day. This is one of the vertical farms. So the UV LEDs and then the test in different growing mediums, which you can see better outside when it's not crazy lighting. So the, they've been, a lot of people use rock wool, which is basically insulation, but it's not very environmentally friendly. So they're trialing different things. You've got sheep's wool, terra fiber, which I presume something to do with hemp. No what idea what that is. Some sort of granule and coffee beans. What? What's vermin? What, what's that? So that's vermiculite. So it's kind of like um, shells. Dirt, kind of stone. It's like Usually shells, isn't it? Um, well, to keep the moisture. So less than one acre of vertical farming can produce as much as ten to twenty acres of stational farming. Still don't get my head around it though, because you've got to put power in to create the sunlight though, haven't you? So This is what we need to set of steps like this, Andrew. That right, guy's gonna take some out of his workshop and mess with you when he has them. And then we'll get picked up. So this is a bit more of the greenhousey stuff. A bit more vertical farming and controlled climate. They look like tomatoes in there, don't we, in the middle? And UV light. Make them grow more efficiently. Got some chilies growing in there as well. See him. There's some gas boilers here, obviously in the greenhouses. And I was talking to someone the other day and they were saying that a lot of the tomato growers haven't bothered growing tomatoes all winter and will only start growing tomatoes at the end of March when the weather has warmed up and they don't need gas because the energy prices are so high. So there's gonna be a blip and a shortfall of tomatoes in the next few months. So buy them now. So having a quick whiz round the equestrian unit because don't forget you can do a course here in horses. Still smells of horses though. So we have a horse walker. Yeah. A horse walker that looks like a teepee because it's got a roof on it. These are all the stables. Looks like something's getting built over there as well. What are you building there? More stables. There's more stables being built there, so that's the ride for the disabled. Do you know what? Every time I go to a college or a school, it's full of crows. It's the kids it's drop crisps all the time because they probably need shooting. Smart stables, aren't they? Maybe the beams need dusted down there. Who wants? Who wants to know what a horse walker does? Andrew thinks he should run round it just for yeah, demonstration purposes. <laughs> so you basically put the horse in and it's just like a revolving door and it just... That's pretty quick, isn't it? You can slow it down. So it's that's right. It just goes on pretty fast. It's like well, clip, clop, actually. clip, clop. Think of the noise that they'd make though if we all had shoes on. On that, you probably just go middle of the road. Get them out steaming. It's eight, isn't it? Count half of them, times it by two. Don't know whether you can see because of the camera, because of all the mesh, it's a bit hard to see. So, we're going to go and look in the indoor arena, but look at all them coaches now ready to take all the students. So, how many come in? 1500 come in. 1500 students come in yeah. by bus. It's yeah, amazing. About a thousand that live on site, so. Wow. Thousand live on site. So this is the indoor arena that's covered by mirrors, but someone's having a lesson, so we won't film them. And this is the outdoor arena with like a fluffy kind of matte arena surface. Wax. Wax surface, whatever that is. Little Asiki tractor there with a big. Spring tying on for doing the paddocks. Andrew's trying to hold the phone steady. Uh, don't know if it's as good as that bracket I had last week. But 
what they were saying at the college was as well, not only are they encouraging to get more students in, they were also saying as well that they're always looking for good staff. At the roundabout, if turn anyone, left onto over road. Oh yeah, they were instructions in. So if anyone is thinking of a career change and looking at being a lecturer, then um, get in touch with them. But Cheshire Farm Machineries, and they've got, this is a 4.1 ton Manitou to 10 metres. It's got electric windows and electric mirrors, which is pretty cool. It's got a camera on that corner, if you can see it. It's also got an interior mirror, which is very handy. And then it's got a little cubby hole down there. But look at this. It's got room for a dog in the back, like a massive shelf in the back for a dog or like, you know, a little playpen or as big as James has caught that. Visibility isn't as good as the Merlo backwards, but obviously they've thought about that with all the different cameras and the lights. It's not hydrostatic though, because it's obviously only got two pedals. But it's, um, it's nice actually. Two sticks a bit like, it's like a football that's gone flat like, but feels nice. It's a bit like the class, um, the combine joystick to be honest. Have a look at these here. The only thing I'll say is it looks very expensive that if you were to drop a bale on it. <laughs> End is the wrong way around. Is that a step? Just easy access. Mm. Big, sorry. Air brakes? Wow. Why do people still bring them in on palm couplings though? Did no one know that the UK's never used them? Bit of a monster on them tyres. It's a little bit dark, I hope you can see it on the camera. Um, but they've got a big selection of Brohan. I say Brogan, but apparently it's Brohan. Trailers in. You see the reflective tape on the front of them all shining. It's a triaxle one like Simon's, I think. Yeah, big triaxle one. And then also, there's a little, uh, what they call sun, sun wind, is it? No, yeah. Sun wand diggers or whatever. We had a go with them, didn't we? The last time we were up here. Silk sun ward. We've got two, two track crushers in. Like one that looks like it's on like eight ton tracks and one that's on like three ton tracks. Crushing concrete. Compact that, isn't it? That you can put it in your pocket, doesn't it? Little overband magnet on it as well. Wonder how many horsepower they have. Kavermund Ripper. Yeah, it's gotta be, was it 18? Must be 24 that, let's have a look, 1, 2, 3, 3, 6, 9, I don't know, yeah 12 because it's got a bit in the back, must be, 24 metre sprayer, must be 1800 litre maybe the B18 means, I don't know, it's clever isn't it how it folds up on the back of the tractor, that's a beast that for like cleaning like Cobbles or something, or your boots. Little finger bar, man. We're all for a minute again. It's good, that, isn't it? And a big teagle mulcher. It's a mini Manitou. Now, I thought this was, when I saw it at Lama, I thought, oh yeah, I thought it was a, um, the same as a Wackanoosan, but it's not. 1.6 ton, apparently. Lift on it. It's good that you can open the window to get your elbow out. It's an electronic injection as well, the Yanmar engine. It's not going to have blue, which is a bonus. Just look at this spreader bale thing. So you drop a bale in it, it fires it out into a shed like that. Anyway, they're only made up the road. So we can go around the factory and have a look. And they've got like a little one. It'll fit on 
little skid steers and you can put round bales in it and stuff and that'll throw it 40 foot. You can actually take them off the stack with it as well. I like them size, the way they light up. It's mint that, isn't it? Little baby doits. Is it this one is? And there's the uh, Lamborghini with the Battenberg on. Looking cool. You may remember that. <laughs> Got some big Kubotas. I thought I had a snowplow on the front there. But it's a sign. Oh, that was the tractor under it the other day, maybe. Yeah. It's a little like trailed sort of straw chopper spreader thing. Mixer wagon. Oh, look at that cherry picker. That's nice cherry Ch picker. That's massive. That that must be. That must be like sixty foot. Scale. That looks mean in black. Was that here last time we came? That's a beast, isn't it? Imagine that on that trailer. Cool, wasn't it? Yeah, look at that man, it's, look at that cherry picker. How high it is compared to that tree. Quick look around the shop, a couple of mini diggers. No one sells diesel pressure washers, do they? Steam cleaners, that's what we're looking for. <laughs> I like things that has prices on. Even the mini diggers have got prices on. Name that telly handler. What make is that? Office updates. Hoodies are here. They're going on stock in a bit. I'll just dodge all the other stuff in here. Seed socks are here. They're going on the way tomorrow. They'll be available on Spaldings. Everything else, agricontact.com or use the hashtag hurry up and finish Ian's office. <laughs> on the bumper we have Carla Brooks is 59. Cameron and Goodson is uh, I, uh, under 10 minutes age. Happy birthday to you, Cameron. Rody King is 13 and Sally Tuddenham. Not going to ask. Because you don't ask a lady. Uh, 27,114 pound raised back to work the postman waits for no one <laughs> Let's go to